Welcome to the Weekly Tasting. I'm Jennifer Simonetti Bryan, Master of Wine, and this week we are talking about Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc, it is a noble grape variety. What's a noble grape variety? A noble grape variety is one that has stood the test of time in terms of quality, has been revered for its high level of quality as well as ageability, and also it has some similar characteristics no matter where it's grown in the world. Having said that, we've got four different countries here. We've got one grape, four different countries. So you get a chance to taste the accent that each of these regions gives Sauvignon Blanc. The first wine we have is from Chile. Chile is a very narrow and long country and probably the longest and narrowest of all wine growing countries because it's about twice the length of Italy and probably just as narrow and it's got a lot to contend with. So you've got the Antarctic in the south, you've got the deserts in the north, you've got the Andes Mountains which are some of the highest in the world to the east and then the Pacific Ocean to the west. So it's fairly isolated. And Sauvignon Blanc can do well in warm climates like you see in Napa Valley, but in Chile you find it more to the coast where there's a cool moderating effect of the Pacific Ocean. And so what it does, it lifts the acidity, lightens the body, and you have less alcohol, and it's more fragrant. I find that in Chilean Sauvignon Blancs, I get a lot of floral character um, and a lot of aromatic lift with some, like some honeysuckle tones. And uh, this is very citrusy as well. So lemon, a little, little bit of lime, and some herbaceousness as well, which is what Sauvignon Blanc is known for. In terms of food and wine pairing, this kind of reminds me of a wine that really kind of got me into wine in the first place. It was a food and wine pairing that I had while I was working in investment banking in London, and it was a Sauvignon Blanc. It was a Sauvignon Blanc and it was paired with a grilled salmon, and oh my goodness, this food and wine pairing just, just blew me away absolutely blew me away because the high acidity from the wine cleansed the palate from the fattiness of the fish and actually heightened the flavor of the dill and, and um, the, the grilling on the salmon. And the salmon made the flavors of the fruit of the wine just pop. So if you're looking for a really great pairing, go with grilled salmon. A Sauvignon Blanc Semillon blend from Bordeaux. Now, in Bordeaux, you generally see Sauvignon Blanc blended in with Semillon, another white grape variety, um, but this is Sauvignon Blanc dominant. And you'll find that in the region of Entre de Mer, meaning between the two rivers in Bordeaux. And the Sauvignon Blanc dominant um, blend here, you can tell, because you've got some uh, beautiful citrus and herbaceous aromas, which is what the Sauvignon Blanc adds to it, and a high level of acidity, as well as a little bit of hint from the semillon, which is a little bit of a, a waxy, like a beeswax kind of aroma to the wine. So this is a beautiful wine. It's got great minerality, which, which makes me think of, let's say, shellfish, grilled shrimp or grilled scallops. That will really augment the, um, the flavor of this wine. And I think uh, you'll really enjoy what the wine does to the shellfish. It'll probably bring out some of the sweetness in either shrimp, scallops, or even crab. So you may want to try that. For the third wine in the pack, we go to South Africa. Now, South Africa is by far the most beautiful wine region I have ever visited. Now, having said that, I've never been to South America or New Zealand, but um, since I visited South Africa, I have to say, it was absolutely the most beautiful wine region I have ever visited. And I've been all throughout Europe and the United States. Um, other than being just gorgeous, it has some wonderful wine growing regions. And Sauvignon Blanc does particularly well along the coast where you have, um, just like in Chile, you have the Humboldt current coming up from the Antarctic to chill things down. In South Africa, you also have a current coming up and chilling things down along the coast. And here, you also have, um, so you've got some citrusy notes and some light body, which is what a cool climate uh, lends itself to the grape. But here in South Africa, you also get a passion fruit kind of aroma. And if you're gonna compare New Zealand and South Africa side by side, I usually find that South African Sauvignon Blancs are much more aromatic. And this one is quite aromatic. You're getting not only the citrus and the passion fruit, but some floral notes and some herbaceousness in there as well. 
gorgeous, gorgeous wine. I think this is um, absolutely fabulous. You're gonna love this. And, and the best pairing that I have had with this wine has to be spaghetti with clams and clam sauce. It is wonderful because it brings out some of the brininess of the clams and the clams brings out some of that passion fruit in the wine. It's what we call contrasting, where two opposing flavors make them both stand out. So I think you'll really like that one. The last wine in the pack comes from California. And while a lot of Sauvignon Blanc in California comes from the Napa Valley and maybe even the Central Valley, this one comes from Lake County. And there's an AVA there, or uh, American Viticultural Area, called High Valley. And it's called High Valley because it's higher elevation. For every 100 meters you go up in elevation, it goes down a degree Celsius in temperature. But why do we care about that? Well, because the, the grapes themselves go smaller, and so you've got higher skin to pulp ratio. And in red wines, that means a richer color and richer concentration of flavor. You're not gonna get the color for Sauvignon Blanc in a white wine, but you're gonna get that density of flavor. Here you've got a lot of citrusy kind of notes and melon and um, fresh fig. Fresh fig character is going to really just leap out of the glass. And in terms of food and wine pairing, you might want to put those fresh figs with some goat cheese and beets in a salad. I think that would really bring out some of these uh, characteristics in the wine. But I also get some, uh, some floral notes in addition to that herbaceousness that Sauvignon Blanc is known for. So I hope you enjoy that. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for taking this trip of Sauvignon Blanc around the world with me. And until next time, cheers.